Assalamu alaikum, my dear respected student. Uh, today I am here to present the synthesis of Kaumbazidi Capital and its derivatives. In today's lecture, we will cover uh, some uh, synthetic root of carboxylic acid. And uh, beside this, we will discuss the acyl substitution in which uh, a nucleophilic addition elimination at, at the acyl carbon will be discussed, uh, which will be covered by the two subtopics, uh, which is the relative reactivity of acyl compounds and synthesis of acid derivatives. After that, we will cover the acyl chloride synthesis and reaction. Let's move on. Uh, regarding synthesis of carboxylic acid, the first method is uh, generally used by oxidative cleavage of alkenes using KMnO4. And in this example, uh, we have a basically di-substituted alkene, which is cleaved under strong oxidizing agent, which is KMnO4. Uh, in basic condition, upon heating, it will give the carboxylic acid salt and on workup, it will give the two uh, carboxylic acid compounds. Now, this molecule is asymmetrical molecule. That is why we are having two different types of carboxylic acid. The detailed mechanism of uh, uh, this reaction have already been explained in one of my lecture, which is based on reactions of alkene. Same here, the ozonolysis can also give the carboxylic acid. Uh, in this case, we use the ozone and uh, on the second step, the oxidation occurs using hydrogen peroxide to give you the carboxylic acid. Same, this mechanism has also been explained in reaction of alkene lecture. Okay. Carboxylic acid can also be obtained by the oxidation of alkyl benzene. For example, if here we have the one degree or two degree alkyl groups, and upon oxidation with KMnO4 and on heating, uh, and uh, under basic condition, and after the workup or uh, acidic workup, we may obtain the carboxylic acid. Next example that how we can get the carboxylic acid once the, the ketone with HCN or the excess sodium cyanide, we may obtain the cyanohydrin. And after the acidic workup, we may obtain the carboxylic acid. Similarly, alkyl halide can also be reacted with the HCN to give you the nitrile. The name of this compound is butane nitrile, which is on acidic workup, ultimately give the carboxylic acid. Same the detailed mechanism. You may search on this uh, on the website and uh, regarding the mechanism of this compound has already explained in reaction of aldehyde and ketone part B. Carboxylic acid can also be obtained using carbonation. How? First, the alkyl halide treated with the magnesium in a protic solvent to give you the uh, phenyl, or we can say the general name, the alkyl magnesium bromide. In this specific example, the name of the compound is phenyl magnesium bromide, which is on treatment with the carbon dioxide and on acidic workup will give you the carboxylic acid. And the name of this compound is ribambaric acid. Another very important topic is acyl substitution. Uh, uh, nucleophilic uh, substitution is very common, but keep remember that the nucleophilic substitution always occur by a tetrahedral intermediate. Why? Because the carbonyl compound having the sp2 hybridization and the sp2 hybridized carbonyl compound cannot directly uh, give the substitutive product. These uh, uh, as I mentioned in the previous slide, that the, this nucleophilic acyl substitution occurs through the nucleophilic addition and elimination. The first step, the addition step, and the second step, the bending step. Okay. By reacting the carboxylic acid with different nucleophiles, we may obtain the different derivatives like acid chloride and acid anhydride and ester or amide. And these are very common derivatives. And uh, unlike carboxylic acid, and their derivative. 
aldehyde and ketones usually do not undergo this type of nucleophilic acyl substitution. It is because of the lack of an acyl living group tendency. You can see here that in the carboxylic acid or its derivative, it is a good living group. While when we compare with the aldehyde or ketone, H or the alkyl group, they are not the good living group. So generally, as I mentioned in the previous slide as well, that uh, the, the relative reactivity of the carboxylic acid derivatives towards nucleophilic acyl substitution reaction depends on two steps. As uh, already mentioned, the first step, the addition of the nucleophile to the carbonyl group, and second step, the elimination of the living group in a tetrahedral intermediate. Now, this acyl substitution also depends on some factor that sometimes the steric factor may increase the reactivity or may decrease the reactivity. For example, in this uh, specific example, this is the acetyl fluoride and this is the substituted acyl fluoride where we have the, uh, the tertiary vitile group. Now, because of this steric hindrance, this is less reactive, while because of this absence of the steric hindrance, this is more reactive acyl fluoride. Similarly, electronic factor is uh, one of the important factors who can enhance or decrease the reactivity of the carbon group. The strongly polarized acid derivatives react more readily than the less polar ones. Thus, when we compare the reactivity of the derivative of the carbonyl compound or the carboxylic acid derivative, the most reactive uh, carboxylic acid derivative is the acetyl chloride, and the least reactive of the acetyl uh, carboxylic acid derivative is the acetamide. It is because of the living group tendency as well. And important consequence of this reactivity is it is usually possible to convert a more reactive acid derivative into the less reactive one, but not vice versa. Uh, our next topic is uh, the synthesis of acid derivatives. Uh, generally, less reactive acyl compound could be synthesized from the more reactive one, but the reverse is usually difficult and requires some special reagents and some special conditions. And the synthesis of acid derivative by acyl substitution requires that the reactant have a better living group at the acyl carbon than the product. Here we have uh, some synthetic rule, rule that how we can synthesize the acyl chloride. And uh, as they know that it is uh, somehow tedious to synthesize uh, the more reactive compound from the less reactive one because it requires some special reagent or some special condition. You can see the structure of the carboxylic acid and it is somehow less reactive and the acetyl chloride is some more reactive. So for the synthesis, we have some common reagents which are uh, SSCL2 of the lyl chloride, phosphorus trichloride or, or phosphorus pentachloride. Let's see one of the mechanisms that how carboxylic acid react with any of uh, uh, the reagent to give you ultimately the acetyl chloride. In this mechanism, when carboxylic acid is reacting with oxalyl chloride, it will occur through a nucleophilic addition reaction. Here, the oxygen lone pair attack as a nucleophile at the electron deficient carbon of the oxalyl chloride carbon and will establish a new bond which ultimately result in breaking the fire bond to give you this intermediate. Ultimately, this DNN will collapse to the part the chloride ion and give you this intermediate. Here, this chloride ion act as a base or as a nucleophile to attack at this carbon and will give you this intermediate. Now here, uh, surprisingly, this oxygen once will collapse this whole group because of the C double bond O and this moiety is a much uh, good living group. So it will uh, generally collapse like in this way. So it will give you a one molecule of carbon dioxide and one molecule of carbon monoxide. This chloride ion will of course um, capture the proton which I didn't mention here to give the HCl as well. And here we have the acetyl chloride derivative. Okay, uh, let's discuss now some of the reaction of the acetyl chloride. 
conversion of acid chloride, which is, uh, of course, the reactive one to the carboxylic acid is much easy. Even the water in basic condition can give you the carboxylic acid. How? Uh, acetyl chloride rapidly reacts with water. Water attacks as a nucleophile to establish a new bond between oxygen and carbon to give you this intermediate here. This oxygen ion is a very strong base, while this oxonium ion is a very strong acid. So intramolecular proton shifting may occur to give you this 1,1 one, one diol or gem diol. Later, this uh, one of the oxygen of the o oxygen will uh, donate its electron to establish a oxygen carbon double bond and uh, depart the chlorine as in the form of the chloride ion to give you this intermediate. Now the base will capture this proton to ultimately give you the carboxylic acid. We know that the conversion of acid chloride to other carboxylic acid derivatives. So here are some examples. Like acid chloride when treated with alcohol in protein may yield ester because it is very reactive and on the reactive uh, carbonyl compound or the carboxylic acid derivative can provide easily the less reactive one. Similarly, this reactive uh, acetyl chloride when reacting with the, uh, the amine may give you the amide functionality and the, as well as when this acetyl chloride reacting with the sodium salt of carboxylic acid may produce or may synthesize the acid amide. That's all for today's session. And uh, in the next lecture, we will discuss some more interesting lecture of carboxylic acid.